Good morning, everybody, from the hustle and bustle of Winnipeg, Manitoba. We're doing our thing. Winter has arrived, and I don't think it's going away. I'm pretty sure this snow is here to stay. I've got to grab some fuel. This is Friday for me when I'm filming this. I had to go into the city here and grab a big pallet. It's supposed to be added on to a load that we have in our yard. So I picked that up already. It's on the tail end of this triaxle step deck roll tight that I have. Tied it down in there and we're gonna load the rest of the other freight onto this trailer as well. Cause where it's going, it needs a triaxle. Obviously for the reload, cause this freight is really light. But well, since it's Friday, I wanna fuel up while I'm by Flying J here so that I don't uh, end up not being able to fuel. I wanna leave the truck full of fuel for the weekend, or at least as, as full as I can, you know? I'm gonna go in the other driveway. This is our big and mighty Flying J. Here in the east side of Winnipeg, isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Oh, and here comes Mr. Flying J himself. What do you know? Man of the hour. Thanks, bud. I need some of that. I'll take it right now. Where are you going? Where are you going? You missed your stop. He's he's gone. Okay. No, he wasn't going here. I wonder where he's going. Oh, there's another one over there parked back there. Oh, where's he going? This is the only Flying J on this side of the city. Ah, oh, he's going for a joyride. Oh well, hopefully they got some fuel in the ground here. I haven't run into any shortages yet myself. It's really expensive. But uh, we haven't run into any shortages, so that's, that's all that matters. Alright, there we go. There's only one, one pump here per side. There's no satellite pumps. So you gotta grab the fuel all from one side. So what I do usually is I fuel my far side first. I'll drag the hose over there, fuel that side and then come back around, do my driver's side, and then I'm done. That's just the way I do it. Let the government know that I am fueling. Once again, nosy people. All right. Like, what do they care when I'm fueling, right? But I have to enter it into my e-log. Oh, let's shut her down for a bit. You take a rest. I just ate an orange in here, and everything really smells orangey this whole truck it's almost burning my nostrils put on my toque so my brain doesn't fall out also so that my brain doesn't freeze you don't want that okay. I got my fuel cards right yes I do all right let's do this let's do this I'm excited I'm excited oh my gloves oh I have them up on the dash here to dry off so, oh, heat them up a little bit. Oh, look how dirty she is. Oh, it's that season. It's that season. There's nothing I can do about it. You just gotta accept it. Spring will be here before we know it. Yes, we'll just say that. I need some fuel, please. If you haven't seen the way these pumps work yet, you're gonna love this. <laughs> Only in Canada. Most places aren't like this anymore. This is an old school guard lock. If you grab this and you see you wanna fuel up the other side, right? Well, what you gotta do is you gotta put that right there. Oh, walk all the way around, which isn't so bad it's good to get the legs moving right oh open this fuel tank okay all right okay pull it oh this one doesn't pull oh man it's not gonna reach they still haven't fixed this thing this thing has been busted like this for over a year now I can't reach usually you would go and it pulls further, but, and it's leaking a bit too. Uh, okay. Does this one work? You see that thing up there is supposed to 
See, this one works. All right. And we shall rearrange ourselves and come in at that one. That's uh, annoying. How long does it take for them to fix things around here? <laughs> you see, this one's almost snapped off already, that cable. I should have seen that before I even started. And that pulley is jammed up there. I called in about that last year already. Should have cancel this, I guess. Cancel. There you go. Gonna move ourselves to the next pump. That's annoying. Okay, actually maybe this one. Does this one work? Maybe I can just move over to this one here. Okay, see, that pulley works. Okay. I think this one probably works too. I'm just gonna back up and go in there. That's silly. That is silly. All right, I'm gonna back her up a little bit. Gave a little toot, let everybody know, hey, something's going on. So if they all look and then they'll see that I'm moving backwards. Uh, oh buddy, don't drive behind me while I'm backing up. Life of a trucker in Canada. Never, oh, we're spinning. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, girl, you got this. You got this, come on. No problem. Okay. All right, so now that we're on uh, this side, we're gonna fuel my driver's side first. So I always fuel the far side first. Wonderful. <sighs> Can't believe they haven't fixed that yet. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Okay, this one works, right? This one, right, pulley works? Yes, this pulley works. Heads up, if you're coming to the Flying J off Lajemodier in Winnipeg, don't use that pump. They still haven't fixed it. Dollar 40.9 per liter. Whew, and these pumps are dirty too. Cheapers. Cheapers. Dun, dun, put that in. Okay. Then it asked me for my loyalty card. I don't have it with me, unfortunately, so I'll just skip that. Uh -huh. Filling the tractor. Uh -huh. My unit number in. Uh -huh. Got to put my super secret code in. One second. Okay. This is like an extra long clip now. <laughs> All I wanted to do was show you how we fuel the other side and ended up having to move everything around. Okay, so now it's saying I can fuel here. So we're gonna do this the opposite way. Man, that pump leaked diesel fuel on my, just a few drops, but uh, I'm gonna have to call in again about that. I already called in once. They didn't listen to me. This isn't a manned uh, fuel stop, right? So there's nobody who actually works here. They're all off site. Okay, so now this pulley will work and you pull it. See, that's how it's supposed to work. And then you put it in there. You keep this off the exhaust there because you don't want the, uh, the exhaust is usually pretty hot. And there you go. That's how it's supposed to work. That's all I wanted to show you. Turned into a big kerfuffle. What is it? $663 of diesel fuel. Like I said, I haven't seen any shortages around here yet. I hear about them, but uh, they're all a long ways away from here. I think most of our diesel fuel from here comes from the refinery in Regina. If not there, then we have another refinery up in Edmonton. I'm pretty sure that's where our diesel fuel, I don't know for sure. It's not my specialty or anything. And off 
we go. No one coming? Fantastic. Oh, we're spinning. Come on, girl. Come on. Find your feet. Come on. There you go. Ah, she wouldn't leave me hanging. Oh, shoot. That car hauler pulled in and is using that same pump that I was using. Oh, no. He's just realizing now. Oh, I would have told him that that one's not... Oh, well. He figured it out there. There's a lot going on here right now. We've got a few cars to move for people too. Oh. Oh. I wish this would be the vlog telling you uh, this is my new car, but no, it's not. We're gonna keep a good distance from this one. got Manitoba plates on it, so I'm guessing it's going south. That's nice. I don't think there's a word to describe how nice that actually is. Well, whoever's it is, is uh, very lucky. My compliments. Very nice car. We will take really good care of it. Ah, kind of a slow day today. Nothing much happened. I did a few things, running around the city, fueled up the truck there. I wanted to show you the process or process. I keep, I, I still don't know. I'm gonna say, keep saying it the way I say it, the process of uh, fueling up at the card locks. That's how they used to all be. Or that's how most of them used to be up here in Canada. But now it's pretty rare to find one like that. Um, most of you have seen it before in my videos, but yeah, just for the people who haven't seen it yet, that's how sometimes we've got to fuel up here. And uh, that's just the way it is. And then when we came back to the yard, we saw that nice red Ferrari. That's a nice little treat to see it there. Uh, no, I don't get to drive those cars. No, I don't even get to touch them. It's a privilege to even look at them. <laughs> So that car is already gone. I'm not too sure where it's headed. Need to know basis and uh, I don't always need to know but uh, Probably out there just for a short while before they threw it in one of our uh, auto trailers And I'm guessing it's probably going somewhere warmer than here <laughs> That's all I can say man. Very nice. Very nice car. I just wanted to share that with you and uh, yeah, I'm just at home right now putting this all together and I hope you guys have a great weekend I didn't have anything to film this week. I kind of just took a break. I was just uh, uh, catching up physically and mentally, and uh, I was very tired uh, this week. I wasn't sleeping the greatest, but I was getting enough sleep. But uh, I took a little bit of a break from the vlogging on Wednesday and Thursday and sort of took it easy today, but we'll be back at it full steam next week again. Yeah. Mm. This is actually alcohol-free Budweiser. I don't know if I've told the vlog yet or not, but uh, I have uh, completely abstained from alcohol now for five months, 10 days, and 23 hours. I haven't had a drop of alcohol. Uh, it's mostly because of our uh, fertility journey that I've been talking about here and there. I mean, I don't want to overshare either, make you guys uncomfortable or anything, but uh, we're still uh, preparing for IVF. We'll be preparing for that and probably going for it in spring. We wanted to start earlier already, but because of finances and stuff, it's a very expensive procedure to do. So we're just saving up our pennies and stuff, and we're hoping to be able to start IVF, which is in vitro fertilization, uh, in uh, spring. And uh, hopefully, maybe 2022 will be the year of the baby for us. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's uh, one reason I totally cut alcohol out of my diet. Um, it's been five months, over five months now, almost five and a half months. And uh, for me, my goal right now is to not touch it until Britt has given birth to our first child and uh, is finished nursing. So let's say she got pregnant before IVF, or let's say next spring she gets pregnant through IVF. 
That'd be nine months plus another, what, six months of nursing? I don't know how long they have. I'm, I'm, I'll figure that out as we go. I'm not an expert on it right now, but I'll learn. So it'll probably be at least another year yet, and uh, I think that's good for me. Personally, uh, uh, I really like the taste of beer myself, so I have... I usually drink O'Doul's alcohol-free now, but uh, recently I've just picked up Budweiser Zero. It's got no alcohol in it, but I, I really enjoy the taste. However, I think it's good for me health-wise uh, to abstain for now, uh, because that's something that can affect my fertility and affect our chances as well. So that's uh, another thing on the sidelines. I don't know if I've even told you that. Yeah, I've, I've, I've totally quit uh, all forms of no alcohol in my body, nothing, just straight edge right now, trying to get my body in as good of a state as possible so that uh, yeah, we can get our first, first baby into the world. We're waiting, we're still waiting. And uh, they haven't decided to come join us here on this earth yet, but uh, it'll happen. It'll happen soon. Uh, doctors can't really tell us that there's anything wrong with us. Just the meeting isn't happening. They're not being fertilized. So what they're going to do with IVF is they take the egg and they fertilize it with uh, my stuff, my guys. Fertilize it outside the body. And then once the egg is fertilized, they implant it uh, in uh, the lady. I'm trying to keep this as family friendly as possible. Uh, you guys can always Google IVF procedures if you're interested. I'm assuming the majority of you probably aren't that interested. That's why I don't want to overshare with you guys, but that is a big deal that's going on in our lives, and this is a daily journal of my life, and when I come back and look at this down the road, I want to be able to remember these times. Maybe we can show our child this when they're old enough to understand that, you know, we, we've been waiting for years for you, and uh, can't wait to meet you, you know? really want you already we're, we've been waiting a long time and uh you know we're gonna give you the best life we possibly can and we're gonna try to get you some siblings along the way as well so that we don't just have one we'd, we'd like maybe to three but we at least want to try and get you some siblings so that you're not growing up uh all by yourself as an only child but if that's the way it has to be hey you'll have us right we'll always be here for you and uh Every day of your life will be valued and cherished by us. Because, uh, you know, can't wait. <laughs> That's why I'm in this position right now. That's why I'm doing the job I'm doing right now. Because we're waiting for you. You're taking your sweet time getting here to us. Okay, guys, I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out and chatting this Friday. You enjoy your weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. Maybe we'll come up uh, with a dog vlog this week and I'll have to talk to the boys and see if they're up for it. No promises, but there'll be more of those to come as well. Don't worry, don't worry. See you later.